I have two toggle switches here at my entry door. One of these controls the outdoor light. And the other one goes to absolutely nothing. There's no overhead light fixture anywhere near. And I've already checked all of the receptacles on this line. And even with the switch in the off position, every single one reads full power. Now what I want to happen, and what I think is happening, is one of these tabs on the receptacle is not removed. I want this light switch to control something, specifically this light right here that my girlfriend has trouble reaching. It's her reading light. So I wanna get that hooked up for her. So first thing we're gonna do is turn off the power to this receptacle. And my electrical panel is labeled. If you wanna learn how to do that, check out this video right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the power to the living room receptacles. We are now showing the open hot status, which means there is no hot wire present at the receptacle. I'm gonna remove this cover. And just to make sure that the power is indeed off, I'm gonna use my voltage tester. We are good. You can see here that we have a tab and these tabs come in installed on all receptacles. Our neutrals are backstabbed. This one right here is a piggyback splice and I see that one of these wires is red. And that usually means that it is coming from our light switch that isn't controlling anything. So I'm gonna remove this cover and see if there's a red wire. If there is, then that's a good indication that it is meant to control one part of that receptacle. And I do see a red wire back there. I'm gonna pull this out. And this is pretty overkill, but just want to show you a trick on how to verify that this indeed does go to here before I cut that tab and ruin this cheap receptacle. Double check for power. I do this all the time when troubleshooting outlets on old buildings and that is I connect jumpers and I do a ohms test or continuity wire test. Now I use these for ohms testing and I just clamp them together like this and it just helps extend the wire leads and then I'm going to clamp one to the red wire and then we'll ohm it out with the red wire on our receptacle. I set my meter to ohms. I'll make it so it beeps. And one of the alligator clips from here hooked up to one, and then the other to the outlet. So this light switch is connected. To this receptacle another thing you can check if this situation doesn't apply to you and is actually more likely is set your meter to ohms or continuity place one lead on each of the terminals and you can tell this switch is good because it opens when we turn it off and it closes when we turn it on and in order to make this work i need to break off this tab that way there's not constant power going through the top part of the outlet. It'd just be controlled by that switch. So I can turn on and off the light from the switch. And I'm just gonna wiggle it back and forth. Okay, that tab is broken. And I know a lot of you don't like to see backstabbed receptacles, but this wire is the right size. And it is up to code. It is code to install 
outlets like that. Whether you like it or not, I'm gonna put everything back and test it out. Power back on. And our switch is in the off position. Power to the bottom one. No power to the top one. I turn the switch on. We got power. I've got my covers on. And now I'm gonna plug in my light to the top receptacle. So now when my girlfriend wants to turn on her reading light, she doesn't have to stand on the couch. She can just hit the switch to turn the light on and off. Thanks for watching. My name's Dave. This fix is done. See you on the next one.